I didn't even feel like I'm pulling anything. Yeah. It's amazing. The truth is that an ant can lift an object 50 times its body weight, which is a bit similar to Tesla's heavy truck. Although the total load is up to 60,000 pounds, the Tesla Semi seems to be too light, even with the standard of up to 82,000 pounds. Besides, the Tesla Semi is proving to be a revolution for the transportation industry when it's improved to eliminate noise and have zero emissions. So, how well is the Tesla Semi performing right now? Let's find out in today's episode of Tesla Car World. Welcome back to our channel, and before we begin, please show your support by subscribing if you haven't already, and ringing the bell so you don't miss out on any of our other interesting videos in the future. Now, let's get started with today's content. But for trucks and planes, uh, there's almost no chance the batteries will be good enough, and so there you'll still need to create liquid fuels, either with electricity or uh, biofuels, Bill Gates once said that batteries are never a practical solution for heavy long-distance vehicles. Besides, Michael Loescheller, the new CEO of Nikola Motor, took on the challenge to find a zero-emission truck anywhere that could run up to 1,500 kilometers in one day. However, Tesla's hidden weapon is considered a revolutionary change in the transportation industry, as proven by its latest achievements. How's Tesla shaping up the transportation industry? I mean, it doesn't feel clumsy or unwieldy or, I mean, you don't feel like you're in some huge truck, you know? So yeah. It's pretty amazing. In September, we saw a rare and impressive sight of a semi transporting a Cybertruck. But things seem limitless with Tesla. Recently, during Jay Leno's test with a Tesla semi, he was quite impressed at the Tesla semi's pulling power, which was extremely smooth and did not feel heavy even when he was towing another Tesla semi with an estimated total weight of 60,000 pounds. We can notice that 60,000 pounds is the total weight of two heavy vehicles in the Fontaine Traverse HT. In particular, the Fontaine Traverse HT weighs about 16,000 pounds, so it can be inferred that a Tesla Semi weighs about 22,000. However, the Tesla Semi can completely pull the weight higher than that to achieve a total weight of 82,000 pounds. In addition to outstanding towing ability, Tesla Semi has shown amazing operating range to prove the wrong negative views of Bill Gates or Michael Loescheller about electric trucks. It set a record of 1,076 miles in 24 hours on three charges during testing at the North American Council for Freight Efficiency's 18-day run-on-less program with 21 other electric trucks, Freightliner Cascadia and Volvo VNR. The result was recorded on day 17 of the program. The Tesla Semi outperformed the Volvo VNR1 when it only reached 240 miles and the Escadia also only reached 258 miles within a day. With Tesla Semi, for 1,076 miles, specifically the first and second charge take 45 minutes and the third takes more than 60 minutes to increase from 3 to 92.6%. This parameter proves that Tesla Semi spends 81.8% of its operating time on traffic and charging waiting times accounts for 11.1%. New parameters have confirmed that the Tesla Semi is the heavy electric truck leading the U.S. transportation market. Besides, it also revealed many attractive features for the current operation. How does Tesla Semi demonstrate flexible traction with new innovations? Besides the towing and weight indicators of the heavy-duty pickup truck revealed by Jay Leno and Tesla staff, the Tesla Semi has also demonstrated other extremely attractive capabilities. We often think that it can take up to a few minutes for the Tesla Semi to attach to the trailer. But this process has been proven to be completed within 20 seconds with a few simple operations, such as connecting to the trailer and fixing it with sturdy hooks. Currently, the Tesla Semi is available with around 1,500 horsepower, but the manufacturer can tailor that power to the customer's specific profile for a vehicle with a longer lifespan. Adjust the horsepower accordingly, not too high, to provide torque when needed while also protecting tires and achieving greater efficiency when possible. Not only that, Tesla Semi is applying technologies from Tesla's energy department, and the battery packs are assembled at a higher voltage range of about 800 to 1,000 volts, different from 400 volts in regular Tesla models. Cybertruck's also expected to have an upgraded battery range with high voltage. The current battery pack of the Tesla Semi boasts an impressive 900 kilowatt hour capacity and is expected to feature the cutting edge 4680 battery packs as opposed to the prior 2170 battery packs utilized in limited scale models. Tesla is actively engaged in the exploration of novel battery technologies with the aim of assessing their performance and efficiency in anticipation of their widespread adoption in the future. 
This aligns with the co-manufacturing efforts taking place at the Nevada factory, where both the Tesla Semi and the Advanced 4680 battery packs are being produced. Hence, the integration of this high-capacity battery pack into the vehicle is a logical and strategic decision. Currently, auxiliary devices on the Tesla Semi are operating with 12-volt batteries, except for the air brake system at 24 volts. In upcoming updates, Tesla Semi is expected to improve to 48 volts. Tesla's using the inverter controller from the Cybertruck and the carbon-coated motor from the latest Model S and Model X Plaid in the Tesla Semi. This is made of carbon fiber, which reduces weight by about 10% compared to traditional motors, as well as higher heat resistance, helping operate more efficiently at higher temperatures. According to Jay Leno's experience program, the Tesla Semi was able to turn easily with a radius similar to Model Y or Model 3, which proves the notion that Tesla Semi having difficulty turning corners or being slow to turn on another road is unreasonable. It demonstrated smoothness and speed for easier traffic navigation. Well, we brought over a brake system that's actually commonly used in Europe, and so it's brake by wire. The braking system on the Tesla Semi features a pneumatically actuated BBW controlled by electric current. This is a type of brake commonly used in Europe. This brake system allows the brake pedal to transmit electrical signals to the brake controller. The brake controller then calculates the required braking force and transmits the signal to the wheel cylinders to apply braking force to the brake pads. This technology can control braking force more precisely than mechanical braking systems helping the vehicle stop faster and more safely, and can automatically activate safety features such as ABS, EBD, and brake assist. In the realm of American electric vehicles, the issue of noise pollution in urban areas has been on the rise from 2020 onwards. Recognizing the prevailing customer mindset, the Tesla Semi is undergoing substantial enhancements to mitigate the noise generated by its powertrain system. As one steps into the cabin, not only will the driver enjoy an expansive outside view, but they'll also experience a markedly improved seating arrangement compared to earlier iterations. The generously proportioned cabin comfortably accommodates up to four individuals, with a notably lofty ceiling that allows both drivers and passengers to stand upright. At the present time, the number of Tesla Semis is quite limited, with only about 70 units produced. In addition, Tesla Semi only provides a daytime operating version but in the coming time, the company will speed up production and development of the bed version of Tesla Semi after it deploys megachargers for long journeys. Previously, Musk said the Tesla Semi would reach annual production of 50,000 units starting next year. Mass production of the Tesla Semi is expected to accelerate as Tesla announced earlier this year an investment of more than 3.6 billion US dollars to expand the 5.4 million square meter Nevada Gigafactory complex. This is a move to expand the production scale for the main production headquarters of this heavy truck. Why does the Tesla Semi have great potential to replace diesel trucks? Heavy trucks account for only 1.1% of traffic across the US, but cause 17.9% of the country's manufactured vehicle pollution. To travel 500 miles, a diesel heavy-duty truck will need about 50 gallons, and each gallon will emit 10,180 grams of CO2. Diesel truck pollution is the foundation for Tesla Semi to demonstrate its privilege in preserving environmental protection with absolutely zero emissions. This is also the reason you can't see the exhaust pipes or radiator grill. The Tesla Semi replaced diesel trucks on that route that transports battery packs from Gigafactory Nevada to the Fremont factory, a 260-mile trip. It did it with the same load and the same route, proving that it can replace diesel trucks. The average 500-mile diesel truck trip will cost about $215 in fuel costs. In contrast, each semi can save freight and logistics operators up to $200,000 in fuel costs alone during the first three years of ownership. The cost per fuel charge of a Tesla semi with a 900-kilowatt battery pack will be around $125 for a range of 500 miles. The Tesla Semi has a very low drag coefficient of only 0.4, much lower than most other trucks on the road today, which are all above 0.8. The lower the drag coefficient, the easier it is for the vehicle to move through the air, thereby helping to accelerate better and save more energy. The semi shape is modded after Japan's bullet train. It's twice as aerodynamic as conventional boxy angular trucks. Besides, truck drivers also have a habit of hitting the front corner of the vehicle, so the Tesla Semi is designed to be round and not have dangerous angles like diesel trucks. Tesla's 18-wheeler has three motors and can climb hills much easier than similar vehicles. They restore 70% of their range after just a half hour of charging, 
and maintenance is also simpler and cheaper than diesel trucks thanks to remote diagnostics and software updates. In diesel trucks, the steps are designed quite high compared to the distance from the ground, which will create difficulty for drivers when they have to frequently get on and off, especially drivers with an average age of over 50 years old. Tesla's semi's ladder design is quite close to the ground, making it more convenient for the driver. There's an interesting fact that you may rarely pay attention to, the color of this truck. Most Tesla semis are produced in a very striking white color. If you think this is Elon's favorite color, that's true, but there's still a reason behind it. White is said to absorb less heat than dark colors, and customers of this truck can design logos and labels to create their own brand. PepsiCo's done this very well. If you're worried about the durability of the semi battery pack, we're sure that it'll perform well enough to provide a battery life of over 2 million miles. Many people believe that electric car batteries don't really protect the environment as they are because there's too much coal. The truth is that in California, where all the Tesla semis are currently deployed, only 3% of electricity is generated from coal, so there is not a huge fluctuation. The Tesla Semi's noise-canceling powertrain that provides peace and quiet for more than 11 hours a day will truly make many drivers' days less tiring. America will be quieter when all vehicles run on electricity, and noise pollution in cities will gradually be eliminated to make it more livable. The transportation industry is facing a major transformation, and Tesla's Semi is appearing as a fresh look and a significant solution to this revolution. Perhaps never before, the industry needs a solution like the Tesla Semi more than ever. One of the biggest problems facing the transport industry is the impact of CO2 emissions on the environment. Diesel trucks, while important tools in the economy, are a source of large amounts of harmful emissions. The Tesla Semi, with all its electric capability, offers a greener option for the transportation industry, significantly reducing its environmental impact. Not only that, the Tesla Semi also brings clear economic benefits to transporters and drivers. According to estimates, drivers of this electric truck can save up to 200 grand in the first three years of ownership, thanks to fuel savings and lower maintenance costs. This is a significant benefit in the context of this industry that's facing financial pressure. Payload capacity is always the top factor that customers are concerned about, and Tesla Semi has proven that it's not only a green solution, but also capable of dealing with load challenges. With the ability to tow up to 82,000 pounds, this vehicle is no longer a whimsical option, but a sensible and efficient choice. Tesla Semi is an excellent truck and the most worth buying today. With a starting price of only 150 grand, its combination of advanced technology, outstanding performance, and ability to minimize environmental impact make it an attractive choice for transport businesses. The ability to operate with a battery capacity of 900 kilowatts an hour and the transition to the advanced 4680 battery with support from the Nevada manufacturing plant puts the Tesla Semi at the forefront of the electric truck revolution. In the end, the Tesla Semi set a record for driving distance with 1,076 miles in one day. This proves that electric trucks are not just an idea, but a reality. The combination of high performance, cost savings, and positive environmental impact makes the Tesla Semi an attractive and potential alternative to diesel trucks in the future of transportation. So, how much potential do you feel the Tesla Semi has to replace diesel pickup trucks? The electric vehicle market is experiencing rapid growth, with a global scale valued at $388 billion this year and an expected to reach $951 billion by 2030. Manufacturers are not only competing with smaller segments, but even electric trucks are seeing substantial investments. If Tesla Semi is being hailed as the top contender to disrupt the trucking industry, it must surpass several other highly regarded rivals like Freightliner Cascadia and Volvo VNR. However, a recent potential competitor that Tesla Semi should consider is the Mercedes e Actro 600. Will the Tesla Semi or the Mercedes e Actro 600 dominate the upcoming trucking market? While the Tesla Semi draws inspiration from Japan's high-speed Shinkansen trains and resembles a bullet, the Mercedes e Actro 600 follows the traditional European truck design with its squared-off front end. These distinct designs yield different aerodynamic coefficients. We're informed that the Tesla Semi has a coefficient of 0.4, while the Mercedes e Actro 600 seems to have a lower one at 0.25. However, our focus should be on the key metrics that both electric trucks can offer to determine which one holds greater potential for the future of transportation. For many drivers and commercial companies, Operating range is a top consideration when deciding whether to bring a truck into their fleet. 
even though cargo transportation routes may be within a region, they sometimes involve extended journeys lasting many hours spanning over 500 miles. Tesla Semi offers a publicly stated operating range of 500 miles with an 80,000 pound payload. This range can be extended by reducing the payload to 30,000 pounds, allowing for an even greater range of up to 600 miles. In contrast, the Mercedes e Actro 600 has an operating range of 310 miles with an 88,184 pound payload. Similarly to the Tesla truck, this operating range can be extended by reducing the payload to 55,115 pounds, in which case the maximum operating range could hit 350 miles. As mentioned, the Tesla Semi has a maximum payload of 82,000 pounds according to U.S. standards and regulations. However, the e 600 is reported to be capable of carrying up to 88,000 pounds according to the European market. This is understandable as the weight of the batteries factored into the gross combined weight, which refers to the total combined weight of the entire vehicle, including the tractor, the trailer, and the payload. In reality, the Tesla Semi with its 1000 kilowatt hour battery cannot carry as heavy a payload as the one with a 600 kilowatt hour battery. Daimler states that the e 600 is limited to a payload of just over 48,000 pounds according to EU standards, but can carry more in countries where regulations permit it. PepsiCo drivers have confirmed that the Tesla Semi is equipped with a 1,000 kilowatt hour battery pack. And earlier, Elon Musk stated that it consumes approximately 1.7 kilowatts per mile. According to our research, the new e 600 is fitted with three LFP batteries with a total installed capacity of 621 kilowatt hours and an available power of 590 kilowatt hours. This means that the energy consumption of the Mercedes e 600 is not significantly different from that of the Tesla Semi at around 1.9 kilowatts per mile. In general, both trucks have large battery packs and the capability to transport cargo over long distances. Their energy consumption rates are also quite comparable. All these factors suggest that they have similar energy efficiency when it comes to moving goods. Tesla Semi will accept charging rates of up to 750 kilowatts using Tesla's special mega charging system, meaning that the 1000 kilowatt hour battery can be charged from nearly empty to 70% in a half hour and fully charged in an hour and a half. On the other hand, e 600's current charging rate is up to 400 kilowatts, but an upcoming upgrade will equip the early models with the ability to charge at 1000 kilowatts once the European megawatt charging system is implemented. Using MCS, Daimler states that the e 600 battery can be charged from 20 to 80% in 30 minutes. It's important to note that these are manufacturer estimates and that they still await confirmation as their plan for next year. However, the biggest hurdle for the Mercedes e 600 is its significantly higher cost, which is roughly double that of the Tesla Semi. While Tesla Semi is expected to be priced around 150 to 180 grand, its competitor is rumored to be offered at a higher price from 300 to $400,000. This price point, in our opinion, is considerably more expensive than many trucks in the market, making it much less accessible for potential customers as it falls outside the budget range for many buyers. Mercedes-Benz's plans to commence large-scale production of the e 600 in Germany by late 2024 is certainly a notable development, specifically designed for the European market and Class A truck segments. However, the company may consider entering the North American electric truck market at any point given the current fervor in the EV market. Faced with the rapid growth of the electric truck market, it's evident that the current quality of Tesla semis could easily be surpassed by competitors if the company doesn't remain attentive to this vehicle. Why is the number of Tesla semi currently quite limited? Elon Musk has previously stated that the Tesla aims to produce 50,000 semi-trucks by 2024. However, as of the current moment, Tesla's only produced around 70 heavy-duty trucks. While this number is significantly lower than the stated goal, Tesla does have valid reasons for this. Recently, they announced the official delivery of the Cybertruck by the end of November, and throughout the year, the manufacturer has been incredibly busy with every step of production for this pickup truck. Therefore, the Tesla Semi is not a top priority for production at this stage, and Tesla may not have the capacity and resources to focus on the Semi. If Tesla were to concentrate on producing the Semi at this point, the company wouldn't be able to quickly meet the demands for over 2 million reservations and hundreds of millions of 4680 battery cells. We all know that the Semi is the first Tesla model not aimed at private owners, but rather instead for commercial companies. Therefore, the production quantity of Tesla Semi 
can't be haphazard but must be a part of a strategic plan contingent on Tesla's contracts with commercial firms. Tesla's undoubtedly negotiated delivery timelines and the number of electric trucks with their partners in the future, but not necessarily at this moment. Unlike smaller Tesla models, the Tesla Semi is the most challenging and complex to produce. While other models have benefited from the Giga Press machine to reduce production time, the Semi is not currently compatible with this pressing machine. As a result, the production process is more costly and takes more time. The Tesla Semi has more components than a Cybertruck, with some parts being two to three times bigger. It requires meticulous assembly, including features like axles, regenerative braking systems, controls that necessitate engineers, and machinery to work more efficiently and with greater care. Currently, standard lithium-ion battery packs are being used. But this is not the long-term technology Tesla is considering for the Tesla Semi, as it's less efficient and outdated for use in the upcoming electric trucks. Therefore, under the flexibility of the new 4680 battery cell production process at multiple production facilities, with Texas and Nevada being key locations, Tesla is expected to apply these battery cells. Unfortunately, despite producing over 20 million 4680 cells, they're primarily allocated for Cybertruck, so the application of these cells to the semi may have to wait a while, impacting the quantity of heavy-duty trucks that are produced. Most importantly, the Tesla Semi hasn't been produced in large quantities because it's not yet fully refined. Tesla employee Priestley has acknowledged that the company is collecting data during the testing phase and plans to implement a series of improvement before mass production. Specifically, the sleeper cabin will be added to the Tesla Semi in an upcoming nighttime update. The last factor we think is a significant consideration is production scale. Given the big size of the semi, a facility like that in Nevada might not have the capacity to accommodate both the floor space and production lines that they need. Even though Tesla announced a $3.5 billion investment in the Nevada plan earlier this year, it hasn't yet broken ground, delaying the timeline for that mass production. While we discussed the utility of the Tesla semi in addressing emissions and nicknamed zero emission for this EV in North America, many skeptical views have been raised about the environmentally friendly nature of the production process which doesn't always align with the praised image. Specifically, there are concerns that the Tesla Semi emits a significant amount of carbon during the manufacturing stage, particularly regarding its battery packs. Why does the Tesla Semi production process not have as heavy emissions as rumored? Heavy-duty trucks only make up 1% of the total number of vehicles on the road, yet they contribute to 18% of the emissions. After discussing the benefits of Tesla for the air quality in the U.S., Many customers have been unwilling to acknowledge these advantages and have shifted their focus to the perceived environmentally unfriendly aspects of the Tesla Semi's production process. We don't deny that the production process of Tesla Semi is not entirely emission-free, but when compared to diesel, it's still considered to be a cleaner and more environmentally friendly option. Specifically, the primary factor that leads to negative perceptions about the Tesla Semi and the production of lithium-ion battery packs. Previously, most lithium was extracted from hard rock mines or underground brine pools, and a massive portion of the energy used for extraction and process came from fossil fuels, and that results in CO2 emissions. Hard rock mining, for instance, for every ton of lithium extracted, about 15 tons of CO2 are released into the atmosphere. The exact amount of CO2 emitted into the long-term production of batteries can vary significantly depending on the materials used, their origin, and the energy sources used in the manufacturing process. Currently, a significant portion of lithium-ion batteries, about 77% of the world's supply, is produced in China, where coal is a primary energy source. According to our research, the carbon emissions for a Tesla Semi from the mining process to being ready for sale before it's even gone a mile are estimated to be around 12 tons of CO2. This estimate includes the carbon emissions associated with the production of raw materials like aluminum, lithium, and copper as well as the manufacturing of parts, assembly, and the transportation of the trucks. However, it's worth noting that the precise carbon emissions of a particular Tesla can vary depending on factors such as the specific model, the power sources used in the production process, and the locations of manufacturing facilities. Additionally, the carbon emissions of an electric truck like the Tesla Semi over its lifetime are significantly lower than those of a traditional gas-powered vehicle due to the reduced emissions during operation. In this context, one ton of CO2 is equivalent to the emissions produced by a conventional diesel truck driving roughly 2,500 miles, which is approximately the distance from Boston, Massachusetts to Salt Lake City, Utah. We can perform a calculation that a conventional car would need to travel 30,000 miles to admit 12 tons of CO2, and this calculation does not even account for the emissions produced during the manufacturing of a diesel truck, which can significantly differ from the emissions associated with a Tesla Semi. 
According to our estimates, a diesel truck running for about four months covering a daily distance of 400 miles would emit a total amount of CO2 equivalent to what the Tesla Semi emits during its entire production process. Researchers worldwide are indeed striving to design new production processes or alternative battery chemistries that can work with more readily available and environmentally friendly materials. However, these technologies have not been widely implemented at this time. Yang Xiaohorn, a Chinese-American scholar, professor of mechanical engineering and material science and engineering, and a member of the Research Laboratory of Electronics at Massachusetts Institute of Technology, has stated that despite the environmental impact of lithium-ion battery production, this technology is far more climate-friendly than many of the alternative solutions. In the U.S., the electric grid is considered a mix of fossil fuels and lower carbon energy sources such as wind, solar, hydroelectric, and clean nuclear energy. This mix is generally cleaner in terms of emission compared to burning gasoline, which is why EVs are expected to emit less CO2 than their gasoline counterparts. Shao Horn further explains that the second significant environmental benefit of this type of battery is its potential to stabilize the electrical grid. As the world shifts towards renewable energy sources like solar and wind, the need for storage and energy management becomes crucial. Using batteries to store excess energy from abundant sources like solar and wind can help address a major challenge in renewable energy, balancing supply and demand when weather conditions are less than ideal. This can make the transition from fossil fuels with CO2 emissions to renewable energy sources much more manageable. Tesla is indeed moving towards cleaner lithium extraction from seawater. Extracting lithium from seawater commonly involves a process called evaporation, where seawater is pumped into holding ponds and then exposed to the sun to evaporate. As a result, lithium crystallizes as lithium carbonate salt and is harvested. This cycle appears relatively benign and has less impact on the environment compared to other extraction methods, though it's important to note that it's not entirely without impact. During this process, complete removal of impurities can still lead to pollution if not handled carefully. On the other hand, extracting lithium from seawater may consume less energy compared to mining lithium from rock formations. Lithium mining from rock formations often requires disrupting the natural landscape and can have negative effects on the floral and fauna in the area. In contrast, extracting lithium from seawater does not involve the destruction of land or soil cultivation, making it a more environmentally sustainable approach. During the process of extracting lithium from seawater, manufacturers typically consume a relatively small amount of energy compared to the total amount of lithium extracted. In addition to the battery pack, the Tesla Semi has more components compared to other Tesla models, and the production components like chassis, body, and interior accessories results in a very small amount of CO2 emissions, reaching only about 1 to 2 tons in total. Tesla is always focused on improving production efficiency and reducing emissions. Apart from changing the way lithium is sourced, the company places a strong emphasis on using renewable energy sources to power its manufacturing facilities. Specifically, the Gigafactory Nevada uses solar energy to supply 75% of its energy needs, and Gigafactory 3 in China utilizes wind energy to provide 20% of its energy requirements. In addition, Tesla is implementing various improvements to minimize emissions and pollution in the EV production process. These enhancements include a use of recycled materials, waste reduction initiatives, and the adoption of energy-efficient manufacturing technologies. Tesla is actively working to develop new technologies for recycling complex materials like lithium-ion batteries. The company is providing more environmental impact information about its products and is investing in research and development of cleaner electric vehicle manufacturing technologies. In short, the Tesla Semi emits emission during production, but it's negligible and will completely cease to be almost zero upon completion. In contrast, diesel trucks will always emit emissions from the manufacturing process to the operating process until it's retired from use. So, what do you expect from the Tesla Semi in the upcoming updates? Tesla has previously seemed strangely tight-lipped about any specific details surrounding the Tesla Semi that have so far been gradually revealed by their customers. What breakthroughs have been made in the performance of the Tesla Semi? PepsiCo, Tesla's customer, recently allowed Tesla Semi to participate in the Transportation Research and Testing Project of the North American Council for Freight Efficiency, or NACFE. It's called Run On Less where researchers will collect data on the operating performance, cost, and feasibility of the Tesla Semi in real transportation environments. 
There are three semis participated in the 18-day-long test from September 11, 2023. During several trips in the first half of the test, the Tesla semi-truck at times reached speeds of more than 800 miles a day with short recharges. This shows an incredible amount of performance this truck achieves. According to the latest reported results after half the process, on the ninth day, the third Tesla Semi demonstrated its outstanding capabilities. Its range was up to 762 miles in less than a day on an additional charge, and the truck made three deliveries on the day of this review. With even greater odd than its previous performance, this third-generation semi-truck managed to accumulate a remarkable 1,600 miles in under 48 hours. This means that the Tesla Semi is proving to many doubters its capabilities for the future. By the way, it'll answer Bill Gates's doubt back in 2020 when he threw cold water on the Tesla Semi project and Elon Musk's promises about the ability to produce commercial electric airplanes and trucks. It shouldn't be a big deal, but what makes Bill Gates's comments more controversial is his claim that electric pickup trucks like Tesla Semi and electric jets will probably never happen. The ability to travel more than 760 miles in a day for such a large vehicle with such a heavy load. You should remember that this truck will include drinks inside the trailer and is never empty, adding to the weight of the large battery cells, so it's definitely a great achievement for Tesla. According to the graphical representation depicting the relationship between battery charge level and the distance traveled, it becomes evident that the Tesla Semi embarked on its journey with an impressive 97% charge in its battery reservoir. As the initial 426 miles of the trip unfolded, the battery charge gradually diminished to a mere 14%. Employing straightforward calculations, it's apparent that the Tesla Semi consumed a substantial 83% of its battery capacity during its initial 426-mile segment of the journey. The ability to travel such a substantial distance while only using a fraction of the battery's capacity underscores the remarkable progress made in electric vehicle technology. How would Tesla solve this Semi's charging problem? Indeed, the Tesla Semi is designed to operate in tandem with specialized charging infrastructure known as megacharger stations. After covering a range of approximately 3 to 400 miles, Tesla Semi drivers have the opportunity to take a well-deserved break while their vehicle replenishes its battery reserves for the next leg of the trip. This aligns with the concept of strategic charging stops where drivers can not only recharge their vehicles, but also rejuvenate themselves, enhancing safety and comfort during extended hauls. The integration of megacharger stations into the electric trucking ecosystem represents a significant step towards the viability of electric commercial vehicles for long-distance transportation. It not only offers the practicality required for trucking operations, but also contributes to the broader adoption of sustainable and environmentally friendly transportation solutions in the commercial sector. It appears that Tesla is taking significant steps to expand its charging infrastructure for electric trucks. The company is planning on seeking funding to build an interstate megacharger station route. In a proposal submitted to the U.S. Department of Transportation, Tesla envisions the creation of nine megacharger sites strategically positioned along a 1,250-mile route connecting California and Texas. Each of these planned megacharger sites is expected to feature 12 high-speed chargers designed specifically for Tesla Semi. Notably, the PepsiCo team has conducted tests over the past eight months, utilizing a fleet of 21 Tesla Semis and four Tesla-supplied megachargers. According to their findings, each Semi can be charged from 10 to 90% of its battery capacity in just a half hour. These results underscore the feasibility and efficiency of electric truck charging and the significant progress made in developing charging infrastructure to support larger vehicles. These developments in charging infrastructure for larger vehicles mark a crucial milestone in making electric trucks more appealing and practical. What interesting view does Tesla Semi give us? Over the course of several years, Tesla Semi prototypes have observed transporting a diverse array of cargo, demonstrating their versatility and adaptability in various real-world scenarios. However, what truly caught the attention of enthusiasts and industry observers alike was the remarkable sight of a Tesla Semi carrying Cybertrucks on its trailer. This unexpected event marked a significant milestone as it represented the inaugural instance of the all-electric Tesla Semi Class 8 truck being utilized to tow the innovative Tesla Cybertruck. 
This extraordinary pairing of the Tesla Semi and the Cybertruck signifies the immense potential that both vehicles hold to instigate a transformative shift within their respective segments. The Tesla Semi stands poised to revolutionize the long-haul trucking industry, offering an eco-friendly and efficient alternative to traditional diesel-powered trucks. On the other hand, the Tesla Cybertruck has the capability to disrupt the conventional pickup truck market with its groundbreaking design and electric propulsion, challenging the status quo. Collectively, these two pioneering vehicles represent a compelling vision for the future of transportation. Their convergence signifies a concerted effort to advance sustainable mobility solutions and drive the transition towards a cleaner, more efficient, and environmentally conscious transportation landscape. The availability and development of this megacharger system will be driving transformation for the transportation industry, marking an important step forward in the direction of clean and sustainable energy. This not only helps reduce charging times and optimize transport schedules, but also contributes significantly to the goal of minimizing harmful impacts on the environment. Megachargers are changing the way we look at electric trucks and taking them from a distant futuristic concept to an increasingly growing reality in the transportation industry. Collectively, these developments highlight Tesla's unwavering dedication to advancing electric vehicle technology and revolutionizing the automotive industry. They exemplify the company's vision of a future where electric vehicles play a central role in sustainable, efficient, and innovative transportation solutions. So, how will the transportation industry change in the future? Let us know what you're thinking in the comments section down below. And if you had a blast watching this video, show us some love by smashing that like button, subscribing, spreading the word, and smacking the bell icon to get notified of more exciting episodes. Thanks so much, and until next time, stay safe and God bless.